Now, it's back to school for many today, but one school has had more than just a couple of weeks off. Yeah, eight years. Uh, that's <laughs> how long it was uh, that uh, the BBC school drama Waterloo Road ended. Uh, fans had witnessed a whirlwind of bad behaviour and bus stops and raging hormones. <laughs> uh, that was just the teachers, not even the kids. <laughs> Guess what? They're back for more. Yay. Back on our screens tonight with a host of new characters and some familiar faces. Is anyone else thinking pub? You must be joking, right? We've got a new brand to organise. New logo, new uniform, new prospectus, new website. Oh, I can work with a pint in my hand. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> go on, you two go ahead. Thank you. Well, if the boss says we can work from the pub, mm -hmm. let's grab the laptop. I will make a slobber you yet. Hmm. Along, see? Well, we promised you some familiar faces, didn't <laughs> we? Angela Griffin, who you saw there, plays Waterloo Road's head teacher, and James Baxter, who plays the deputy, are here with us in the studio now. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's who, then? Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely Batman. You are? I mean, yeah. you really are it now, aren't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What yeah, a promotion. Tell us what's happened to your character. Yes, yeah, so it's been a long time since we've seen Kim Campbell, I think, on screen. It's probably been about 11 years, 12 years, unless, obviously, you've been mm. watching it on iPlayer, which right. thousands yes. and millions of people have been doing. Um, and in that time, Kim has been through quite a few ups and downs. And she also stepped off the pastoral ladder and stepped onto the managerial ladder and became um, a head. And she's the same Kim at heart. But, yeah, a few life events have made her a little bit more steely and, and doesn't really want to get involved in the kids' lives as much. But obviously, that's going to change because she's all about the kids. So what sort of head is she going to be? What are we going to see? Oh. Brutal. 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 <laughs> a tough boss. Uh, oh, she's gosh. a good boss. No, she's lovely. Our she's characters lovely. get on very, very well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. good. We're like yeah. sort of team Kim, aren't yeah. we? Well, yeah. I am, definitely. Yeah. I'm sort of like... I'm like the moon that just revolves around That's her. That's it, exactly. Yeah. Obviously, there's conflict <laughs> with other teachers. But she's, she's a good head. Um, she wants what's best for the kids, but... Between Black Lives Matters, Me Too, the cost of living crisis, homelessness, um, uh, the, the, the pandemic, the lives of the kids have changed and mm. therefore schools have changed, the job of teachers has changed and all that is now reflected in, you know, 2023's Waterloo Road. So mm. it's a tough job. It's not just about mm. going in and trying to raise funds um, for extra books. It's about yes. managing people's uh, well-being, uh, managing the mental health of the kids. And yeah. obviously she's really, really trying to do that whilst also being the head. And one of the things that Waterloo Road has never shied away from is like a bit of politics. Yeah. It's topical, mm. isn't it? It's real. People can yeah. really relate to it. It's mad how much like school, because I mean, I left school, God, we're there. Like 16. <laughs> Sorry, not going Oh, yeah, no. 16, <laughs> no, 16, <laughs> 16 <laughs> years ago. It's maths. 16 years ago. I know. Sorry, any maths teachers who are watching. Uh, and, and like, obviously, starting this role you know we kind of went into schools and spoke to teachers and it, it is mad how much school has changed even yeah. in that time you yeah. know just like just seems like the the, the issues at school are, are a lot more prevalent or at least talked about which is i suppose a good thing and kids uh, have got a voice now as well yeah, yeah, yeah. like when i was at school it was no bc not you know uh, yeah. big bc not yeah. heard that's the one i mean i was caned <laughs> That, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't. But now kids have got, no, they've got a voice and they feel that they should use their voice and that's brilliant for when they become adults. But mm. when you're trying to run a school, that's really difficult when everyone feels that their opinion is more important and, and, mm. and should be heard by so everyone. So it, it sounds like Waterloo Road, the school, yeah. is going to look and feel like a very different place in this series. Yeah, James. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... It's... Yeah, like when we went when we went out to visit the schools, you know, the teachers that we that we sat down and talked to, you it's it's staggering. They're not just there to educate kids, you know, like some of them are uh, they're they're like a guardian, you know, and like when, when kids are having problems at home, they sometimes the teachers are the only people that they've got to come to. So like it's a it's a huge responsibility, you know, like it really is. And Angela, you obviously went and met teachers yeah, you, and head teachers. What messages did they give you to bring back to the show? Um, <laughs> that you can tell us. Yeah. Well, this is it. Obviously, there's confidentiality yeah. about who we've spoken to because they're people's lives mm. and people's schools. Mm. 
Um, but the, the, the main message, I think, was that, that being a teacher now is not just about teaching a lesson. It is mm. the well-being of the, the pupils and their mental health and how difficult it is to kind of navigate all of these things. Um, yeah, it's just much more difficult. It's Such a, like, difficult. undervalued yeah. job role in society. Yeah. Like, they... they... They're, they're worth their weight in gold. And it's tough for the kids. It's really tough for the kids now. Mm. So much has happened. But it's also equally tough for the teachers who, you know, they were still going into school during the pandemic. They yeah. were still there. They were, so, they were properly on the front line and, mm. and, you know, didn't get a clap necessarily. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And so... There are light moments in the show. Though. Loads Do you know of light. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's still like, 8 I, Yeah, I feel like we're yeah. describing <laughs> Band of <laughs> Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's still 8 o'clock. God, it's hard. In the trenches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, no. But it's, it's still an entertainment show, yeah. but but, ta but issues are tackled in an 8 o'clock way yeah. Yeah. for every age group. Do you know what I mean? You can yeah. be 13, you can be mm. 330. Because we've all got school in common. Exactly. That's why we all went or avoided or hated or loved, but, you know... There is, a, there is something there for absolutely everyone. When you got everyone. the course in, we're bringing it back. Yeah. Could you believe it? Um, no, I couldn't. And it was it was one of those where it was like, well, oh, OK, but what's going to be different? Because you obviously oh. don't want to just go back and tread the same ground. Mm. And I went and sat down with uh, Cameron Roach, who was the exec producer um, on the previous series, and he, he him and his company uh, wrote Ladder Fiction and Walter Wall were bringing it back. And he described to me what, the stories were going to be also about the um, the outsider uh, the ethos of the show, which was going to be about bringing local talent, both on screen and off screen. So in all our camera department and mm. sound and costume, we've got apprentices coming up. So to get people into the industry who wouldn't necessarily have that foot in. Um, so there was the on screen um, uh, point of it all, but also the uh, the off screen and that meant mm. it just felt like it was modern it felt like it was it was doing something more than just being an entertainment yeah. show yeah. did and you we've had some excellent people as well yeah. come in and sort of like train up and then go off and do you know netflix shows and things like that yeah. and the the crew were they the are crew brilliant are like they're and so the new kids are amazing as well yeah the staggeringly kids, good yeah. the young cast really? you've re yeah. oh yeah. yeah there's sort of moments where you go oh i really need to try like that <laughs> so I need good. to get like, better at yeah, this yeah. I was not that I'm not that good now <laughs> never mind then do you know yeah. what I mean and the previous series you now we've obviously had like amazing people the Jenna Coleman's mm. and Phoebe Dynever yeah. and, and yeah. Jack McMullen and so on who've all gone on to do great things and we've kind of got this next generation of northern talent who hopefully will go on to do yeah. other fantastically amazing things it's like a training ground isn't it in lots it, of ways do you know what yeah. it really is yeah. and, you know it's a, it's a fantastic show it's a great entertainment show yeah. but it is also yeah. a training ground and you know I'm from the north and I'm so pleased that this is back yeah. in back, the north and back for for good, I don't want to say for good, but back long term. Yeah, I mean, we've been here for a while now. Yeah. We've got yeah. seven episodes that have kind of dropped on iPlayer right now this wow. minute mm. that will be going out tonight at, um, at eight o'clock. But yeah, there will be more later on in the year. I so know. yeah. We keep on getting asked questions about scenes that we filmed and I, I, I'm like- <laughs> Yeah, don't answer them. That was so long ago. Yeah. I, feel like I've, I feel like I've aged. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll be back in the studio this afternoon. Yeah. Brilliant. Wow. Well, congratulations. It's great to know it's back. You're back. Yeah. Good luck with it. Waterloo Road airs tonight at nine o'clock BBC One. Yeah. And as Angela was saying, the full series, it's already, it's eight, eight o'clock. Sorry, eight o'clock. <laughs> but you don't have to wait, you can get streaming now because <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh, it's all on the iPlayer right, it, it right away. Watch it at eight and yeah. then watch it again at nine. Yeah. And then ten. And then at ten. Just, just keep on watching it. It's the joy of streaming. <laughs> Best of luck. Thank you so much Thanks, for coming. Thanks for having us. You're watching BBC.